6'4", 219-pound wide receiver out of USC, season-ending broken ankle back in October. Hayden, Drake London, from what I watch, predominantly played on the left side of the field, and it's pretty easy to say this based on that frame, but he is best in this class at contested catches, and we can get into this in a moment. Shockingly forced 24 missed tackles. Yeah, so... And analytically, I think he's got a beautiful profile. He's 94th percentile in my model. He's a 20-year-old early declare, very productive. He actually averaged 135 yards per game uh, as a junior after Amon Ra St. Brown left. Uh, even last year, he had more yards than Amon Ra St. Uh, Brown too. So um, all the analytical stuff is perfect. I turned on the field or turned on the tape, and I kept hearing these like Mike Evans comps. I don't really see that that much. I see, I see some of the downfield contested catches, but what shocked me was how often they had to throw him screen passes and how fluid he was on the underneath routes. And the first couple highlights that I put on here are all these kind of vertical contested catches uh, down on the left side. We're going to start getting to about like two minutes of first downs uh, purely on screen passes. And that's where I think he's kind of an interesting, really high ceiling prospect to me because he can win downfield. But the fact that he caught, I think it was like 3.5 screens per game means that he can win with a little more fluidity than I think a lot of people were giving him credit for. I wouldn't say he's NFL Mike Evans, but if I'm trying to compare him to someone coming out, he's Texas A&M Mike Evans. They did the exact same thing with Johnny Manziel, Mike Evans down with the Aggies in terms of forcing him to win after the catch and winning uh, and forcing missed tackles. Um, I'm not going to say that that is going to be his game at the next level, but to me that at least shows that there's some level of suddenness to his game that maybe can eliminate some of the negative projections that are associated with this type of prototype. Again, 6'4", 219. And I understand the caution that people have with this type of frame. We don't see a huge hit rate with it, to be honest. Like the contested catch, big frame, box you out like a basketball background, which Drake London 100% has. Those are your, like your JGR Sega Whiteside, Devin Funches, Hakeem Butler in the trash. Uh, but then the hits include, you know, the Mike Evans, and the Kenny Galladay's of the world. And again, the difference to me is the nimbleness with the ball in his hands for such a big prospect. And again, I'm not saying that you want him to win after the catch at the NFL level, but again, it shows some certain level of quality, of suddenness, of footwork, so he doesn't get locked up or trapped inside of a cornerback's wingspan or footwork or in, in press coverage. And because of that size... He's not as nimble as some of the other wide receivers are going to get to, but he definitely has to have that my ball mentality, and he has it, Hayden. So I think he's kind of as nimble. He doesn't have the, the top-end speed. Like, if I was going to say, like, his biggest weakness is 35 yards downfield, is he going to blow by that corner? No. Does he have enough speed to kind of be on that DeAndre Hopkins type of tier where he can get – when a uh, mm. win just enough and then come down with contested catches. I think he has just enough speed to win vertically, not just as a, uh, a contested catch player. I think it's, it's going to be really hard to tell with this pro day. Cause he's probably going to be testing coming off that broken ankle. And I can see him right. running a four, six, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if he was like a four five, five player. And that's like definitely good enough for a player, his size. I thought his lateral ability and his little wiggle, a little bit of shake, I thought it was way impressive for somebody as big as he was. And that's why, to me, he's the number one receiver in this class. Now, if we want to be fair, Mike Evans coming out of school was 6'5", about 230, and ran a 4'5'3". Yeah. Uh, you also mentioned DeAndre Hopkins' name. Like, if this hits, this is an X wide receiver on your team that you can line up in isolation and ask him to win one-on-one. -on -one. But again, when this type misses it kind of fizzles out like it there's not like that much lasting power to it because they look lethargic on on an NFL level like they look sluggish on an NFL level again from what i've seen from Drake London and you're going to see it early in these highlights that we're showing right now on YouTube he actually attacks like the dark side of cornerbacks like their blind spots right there and that's really good like that's a really good sign that you understand the nuances to route running that you're not just looking 
for body positioning and boxing out and trying to win contested. Um, we will go through some of these other wide receiver prospects today who are so sudden, who are so fluid, who are so nimble. We need like more than just enough. Like we need good for that to translate here. And I think we do get good enough from Drake London. It's not going to be like a, a specialized trait that you're going to line him out there and say, Hey man, run multiple breaking routes all game long. And we're going to trust you, but he has multiple layers onto it again. Like that's not even factoring in his X factor, which are these like jump ball situations, which again, a my ball mentality being the hammer, not the nail. He's certainly a lot of that at the college level. Yeah. So big picture to me, the analytical profile is checking all the boxes. He'll be 20 years old on draft night, 98th percentile mm. PPR points per game. Uh, I mean, absolutely crushed at USC before he left. They had nobody else to throw the ball to, and they just kept hammering him. Uh, all the production stuff is off the charts. And I just thought, I was just so surprised at what he was able to do after the catch on the underneath routes. I didn't see any of this, the separation issues that people saw on the underneath your slants and stuff, because he kind of uh, could win at all three levels. And those corners are not just sitting back and waiting for him. He actually can press deep downfield and all those screen plays is really opening, opening him up to like some really high end projections. I have him like a mid round one grade. I thought to me, he was the best receiver in this class by a little bit of a distance, just because like that top end projection could be like top five, top 10, NFL wide receiver. I don't think that some of the other guys we'll talk to could reach that type of level. Yeah. It's, it's easy to look back on last year's class and like, see, Hey, now we know that you can trust them lining up one-on-one. -on -one. There's not going to be a lot of those in this room.